So yesterday I made a video on these questions that were brought up to, I guess, sort of like a memorable insider about Seven Deadly Sins origin. But today I'm covering questions that were brought up, I'm assuming to the same person, about Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross and maybe some of the future stuff we can be expecting. The questions, um, let me actually just bring them up. So this is from the Regents Discord server. Uh, the questions are brought up by people from the server. They, I guess they curate and send the better ones. I, I'm, I'm not sure. And uh, if you don't know Regents, he's been like our leaker for like a, lo a long time now. So if you've been around, you probably know who he is. And uh, he has access to like pretty deep stuff from the beta app and stuff like that. So uh, this person that he has that answering these questions is, I don't know if there's like a error in translation between the, like the, per, the person who's making the questions and sending to him because the answers are kind of funny, but we're going to be going over these questions and answers and talk about what I think about them. So, uh, they have only five questions. I don't know if they only sent five or if you only responded to five, but first question, will they ever make any combo uh, ults? or consider other mechanic synergies. Um, combo ults have not been in the game since Escanor, base Escanor. If you remember, if you were a JP player when base Escanor first came out, base Escanor released without a combo ultimate. I'm assuming they didn't even want to make him a combo ultimate, and they gave one to him when red Escanor came out at the end of 2019. And uh, ever since then, there's never been a combo ultimate ever since. The, I think that the only other combo ultimate character that wasn't a at launch character, or like, you know, from the characters that released at launch or construct characters was Rimuru. I'm not, I'm not sure though. Um, we are considering ideas for the next gen of units. This is a non-answer. <laughs> this, is, this is a non-answer. It's the same thing from the other questions. It's a non-answer. Um... Could be yes, could be no. We're considering ideas for the next gen of units. They're just gonna make maybe ultimate animations that have other characters, but this is not a yes. Um, if you were wondering, this is not a yes. It is not a no. He's not blatantly saying that no, we don't have any plans for that. There is one that they, he blatantly said no in these questions, if you have not just read all of them because you're a fast reader and you're just like me, just pause the video and just reads everything, but... No answer to this, really? This is not an answer, right? But maybe, maybe no. Are you considering making an item or something similar to level up a character's ultimate on any dupe? This is something we've been asking for years. And when there was a period of time where people were asking this a lot because of collab units. Collab units, after they leave, you can't really get dupes for them anymore. Like, even the exclusive characters, like festival units and, and, you know, seasonal characters, they eventually come back, they're eventually banished, but collab characters rarely, rarely come back. So, what they said was, but this is, but I'm not saying this, the answer, I'm not talking about the answer, I'm talking about dev note-wise. In dev notes, they said, don't worry, we're bringing collabs back more often. And this is the answer that he gave to the, the question. Events with collab units are being planned. I'm guessing... He thought this is what we we're talking about when we ask for an item that levels up someone's ultimate level. And this is why Grunkers database, we translated this, even put in brackets here, yes, this is their answer because she probably was very confused to why he answered like this. And this is why. It's because back in the day, I don't even know how many years ago this was, maybe two years ago, they told us this that they're not going to make an item that gives ult level, but they're going to bring collabs back more often, whenever they can. And that is that is the answer he gave again. So, it's a no. This is a, base, this is a no. We're, they're never going to make an item of this. It's, it's a bit unfortunate, especially considering not only obviously collab characters rarely return, and even when they return, they are in banners that have like 0.25% with a bunch of garbage characters in the in the you know regular pool right there. So are you going to expand the guild wars so more people can play? We have tried different forms and styles, but nothing set in stone yet. I think the problem with Guild Wars is not even allowing more people to play it. I think the game mode is just complete ass. <laughs> Some people like it, and then you know, if you like it, you like it. Um but it is, it is good to make it accessible. For example, uh, in Epic 7, the Guild Wars game mode not only gives like a 
very premium currency, which is the Mystic Metals, but also it is very rarely available. Available. If you just have a guild with enough members, you can just play Guild Wars, and uh, it's so much more. So the problem, the biggest problem with Guild Wars to me is not even allowing people to play it. Playing it is a drag. You need to buy the items. You need to set them on your team. You need to set your team with the correct gear, right, for your defense and for your attack. And you should like keep swapping gear. It's just a drag playing the game mode. If they were to fix it um, in a way that it's quick, snappy, simple, like in Epic Seven, where you just barely have to think about it, you just play the game mode, right? You don't have to like think too much. You just play, right? If the, if it, if they made it simple. I think more people would be even more interested in playing the game mode, um, but they've tr they have tried some stuff and none of it seems to have worked. But this is also a non-answer. <laughs> I love this guy. Whoever is answering these questions, I love him. He's such a good PR guy. He's like he's not he doesn't answer anything. <laughs> what are your thoughts on improving old characters, such as giving them better stats and improving their alts? Now, this was the one that really upset me. So far, he has given zero answers, right? This is a non-answer. This is a non-answer. This is a non-answer. Zero answers. None of it was like a no. This is kind of a no, but like, not really. It was like, eh, maybe. <laughs> it comes up often, but nothing has been decided to not affect future units. This is a no. They're not gonna buff old units. <laughs> And this is something that, you know, obviously, if you know me, I've been crying and, and pissing and, and, and bleeding that I want old units to be buffed because, you know, we invest in these characters and eventually they get creeped out. And it's really unfortunate. You know, other games do it. Like Dokkan has Dokkan, uh, Dokkan Awakening or Extreme, uh, Extreme Z Awakenings. Uh, Legends has Zenkai's. Epic Seven just really buffs the characters. Grand Cross, after a character is dead... Maybe they get a holy relic that might make them decent again, but a lot of the times their relic is garbage. Um, so the only answer he gives that's like straight up, the first, okay, these two are real answers, but the first answer is like, nope, we don't plan to because that will affect future units. And that's true. In a way, if you buff old characters, it will make newer characters look worse. But this is not how things work really. A lot of the times, you know, when these other games I just mentioned buff a character, what they do is they bring back that character in a new banner. So players that don't have that character because maybe they just are playing or maybe they need more dupes for that character will spend money to get that character that was just recently buffed. Think of a character that you don't have many dupes for. For example, a lot of you probably don't have that many dupes for Festival Kusak because you didn't care to buy him on the coin shop. You didn't care to, you know, purposely chase him and a lot of you, if he got buffed and became super strong, might, you know, think, oh, I might pull for this banner. If they bring back, like, just, they just make a Kusok banner. They don't have to just not do that, right? They make a new banner with, I don't know, five characters they buff. They buff five characters. One of them is, like, Festival Kusok, Red Zeldris, whatever, Blue Zeldris. They buff these, like, garbage demons, right? Then they make a banner with them, 7% rates. That's easy money for them. People will spend money because they might want dupes for these for these old characters they haven't pulled in years because they, they're rarely on banners either. And uh, that's how other, other games do it. And uh, I don't know, I think it's a missed opportunity for them. It's free. They already did the character. They, they don't have to spend money paying people to make the characters. Like, think about the concept, test them that much. They, can, they I mean, Obviously, they have to test them post-buff, but, you know... Test, test if the character works in general, like the animations and stuff. Make sure the an new animations, right? Make animations. It's like so easy for them to just buff characters and free money, basically. That's, again, that's why other games even buff characters because they buff the character, immediately they drop a banner with that character. Same patch, they drop a banner with that character and people are tempted. It's on purpose, they want to make money, right? But not that marble, they don't want to make money. So the, in the future, will units like Nero Boss and Grey World be in game? This is a funny one. I like to include this one. You know, whoever is curating these questions, I love you because asking about Grey Road is just very funny. They will be seasonal units. I, I don't know why. Like, again, 
these have been non-answers, and then he just straight up gave us like pretty hard information. They will be seasonal units. Can you can you say that? That's kind of funny. But only if they, there is sufficient material for us to work with. Grey World already has animations in the game, so I don't know what, what, what he means, sufficient material. The big boob lady, Narabasta, sure. But Grey Road is literally in the game. He is a story boss. He has anima- he has a, I think, I'm pretty sure he has an ultimate. I, I could be wrong, but I think he has an ultimate. He has a commitment. Like, what do you mean material for us to work with? You just don't want to do him because you know it's gonna be trash. Easy idea, right? Go back to releasing two characters in one banner and make Grey Road a, like a side character on a banner. If you don't, if you think he's not gonna make money, do what you did in the past for characters that clearly weren't gonna make money. But you know, so these were the answers that uh, we got. This guy, whoever is answering this question, he has like 15 people going through these. Like, oh, you can't say this. Oh, you can't say this because these are just the funniest answers. Especially this one. That has like this is not the this question. Again, I understand why he answered this, but that was not the question. <laughs> the question was, are you, are you making an item for the dupe stuff? Events with collab units are being planned. That's not the answer. That's not, you're not answering my question, man. Anyways, let me know what you think. Um, if they do bring back combo ults, cool. Don't think they will. I, just, I love this guy, man. I want to hear more from him.